16 years to the day after Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans, Hurricane Ida made landfall as a Category 4 storm, bringing winds in excess of 200 kilometers an hour. High sea levels slammed into the barrier island of Grand Isle, flooding the spit of land around 150 kilometers south of the Crescent City. As the winds lash population centers, the state's governor urged people to stay on their toes. Conditions are changing very rapidly, and obviously we have a very dangerous situation on our hands uh, with Hurricane Ida, and we can expect devastating impacts to continue for most of the next 24 hours or so as the hurricane passes through the state. Despite being downgraded, Ida's sheer power is putting infrastructure under severe strain. Power was knocked out to all of New Orleans and further outages are expected. Louisiana's system of levees is also being put to the test. They underwent a $16 billion overhaul after they were overwhelmed by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Also overwhelmed are the state's hospitals. Low vaccination rates plus the more transmissible Delta variant have seen large numbers of people being hospitalized with COVID-19. Casualties from Hurricane Ida could push the healthcare system beyond capacity. Ida is now making its way northeastwards through the state and is expected to weaken as it makes its way towards the Atlantic coast by Wednesday. But for the residents of Louisiana, the danger is far from over.